is Steven with NorCal Screen Print Supply. In this video, we're gonna do a shop visit. We're gonna visit a shop called Bun Prints in Roseville, California, and we're gonna show you their operation. We're gonna talk to Jordan, the owner. We're gonna show you some useful information for a screen printing shop, specifically a small screen printing shop. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. My name is Jordan Bunnell, and um, yeah, I'm the owner and operator here at Bun Prints, and um, we do custom screen printing. Here's kind of our dark room setup, where we'll burn the screens here, and we just got you know basic exposure unit, and it does great. We're able to um, get our screens burned, and then after they're burned, we come and bring them over here to our dip tank. And this is just filled with water, and this um, we just dunk the screens in there for about 30 seconds to a minute, and um, once they're coated with that, we put them in here and we rinse it out in our dip tank and this light is to protect the emulsion so it's light sensitive for that and then yeah we rinse it out here we got our hose set up and then we got pressure washer and uh, yeah this is our dark room setup simple easy nothing too crazy going on here yellow safe light in the background to not affect the emulsion washout booth in the bathroom gotta love that oh yeah very resourceful yeah we got we got the curtain so when you need the privacy you know there you go. We're going to get Velcro soon on the side so it's even extra privacy, you know, <laughs> but um, right you know, mainly by myself here, so. <laughs> cool. How you got kind of excited about screen printing and what drew you to it and how, tell me yeah. how you found out about it. Pretty random how I found out. Um, I had a neighbor who did screen printing, but uh, me and my friends, we wanted to kind of start like a clothing brand or we were just interested in uh, getting designs made. And I heard my neighbor printed and I didn't even really know what screen printing was, silk screening. And um, yeah, I reached out to him and he was looking to sell his equipment. And he's like, hey, you know, why don't you just learn how to print the shirts yourself? And I'm like, hey, all right. Like, I mean, I was working um, kind of as a cook and as a chef. I, I love culinary and cooking, but um, I was like, sure, part-time, you know, little hobby. And then I started printing in my parents' garage. And um, from there, I just started slowly doing it more and more. And then once I learned how to uh, burn my first screens, because um, I first started, I had NorCal Screen Print here. They would help me burn screens when I was first starting off and I didn't have an exposure unit. And then um, once I got that going, it just kind of started trickling down. And uh, now I got a shop and I'm super excited. And honestly, uh, the pandemic and you know COVID has definitely been a lot of uh, turns and twists, I think for all of us, but it helped push me going from working part-time cooking, part-time screen printing to full-time screen printing. And so I'm, I'm thankful for that for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I did want to ask you, do you have, do you have hobbies that kind of overlap with screen printing or like, Anything else in your life where screen printing kind of fits in as well or? Yeah, well, you know, honestly, um, I love skateboarding. I've been skateboarding since I was nine years old and I uh, used to compete a little bit and uh, I love doing it. And so a good amount of the connections I got in the beginning were all kind of from skateboarding. It was different uh, people that were with businesses or either had their own kind of thing going. And um, that's kind of been the sense of community that I love about screen printing too, because we're all kind of in this together, you know, just like skateboarding, when you go to a skate park, uh, most of the time everyone's going to be super cool and kind of support each other that's what kind of keeps me into it i think too that's great that you can kind of overlap two of your passions now too and where they meet is kind of where you operate so that's super cool i, I like that so this is um, our warehouse area right here and um over here is kind of where we have our heat press set up and um we'll do you know heat transfers we're working on some orders for uh, a client little rock clothing brand and then we also are able to offer um, patch printing where we can like heat press different patches in the hats, kind of like this right here. And you know, if you're just operating in a small space or a small shop, these are two really cool pieces of equipment. I think that, I mean, you can even fit it in your living room if you wanted to. Some of our inventory over here when we get uh, receiving boxes and then laying out a pair for our orders um, in this section over here. This is a conveyor belt right here and uh, it has infrared curing. So you're able to cure water-based ink and um, all that pretty comfortably here and then um, over here is where we kind of lay out inventory for our orders and then have some of our setup for that and then this is our Riley 300 purchased at NorCal Screen Print. <laughs> I couldn't be any more happy with this press honestly with with all the um, micro registration it was a little bit of a learning curve coming from like a four color one station press but um, having these micros and everything really helps you be able to dial in the press and once you get used to the different features of, you know, cause you gotta learn how to troubleshoot, you know, and they have awesome customer service from, you know, NorCal Screen Print to calling 
uh, the guys over at Ryonet. Um, they're always been super helpful for any time I've ran into issues with the press or printing and production. What I love about these presses too, they come stocked with aluminum platens and then also they have the roller bearing registration gate. So the nylon bolts that are traditionally come with screen printing presses are absent here. So these are not gonna wear out or if they do, they're gonna take decades. So you can print forever on this thing. It's pretty bulletproof. I love to hear that. It makes me uh, very happy with my investment. I was researching a lot on presses and I was happy I went with this one. I almost went with the six color in the six station, but honestly, I think it would have been a little too much in this space. So I think I made the right call because it would have, uh, yeah, it would have filled up a little bit more, I think. Cool. <laughs> From day one, when I first started screen printing, honestly, I was pretty nervous in the very beginning getting into it because I didn't know what the heck this stuff was. I mean, just from looking at the screens, and I remember my neighbor, he would bring over um, screens he had, and they he kind of helped do uh, like a Sacktown tourneys, like a softball tournament, and then he worked as a paramedic. So I was starting off helping print some softball shirts or some uh, paramedic shirts, and I was just printing for free, slowly just to learn how to print. And it was a cool experience for me because I didn't have to pay up front for all the shirts, and then I was able to practice printing as well and then have a little bit of guidance just learning how to pull the squeegees and everything through it was all really tricky so when i would go into norcal screen print just to buy ink or um, different materials i would be able to ask like matt or steven here any questions i had about just printing and honestly things i wasn't really able to find online because like there's some good resources online but they don't have the answer to every question you may have honestly and so having guys that you can talk to or in person i think has been a uh, really valuable just for the whole community around here um, for screen printing. Is there any particular kind of niche that you occupy within screen printing or any specialty prints that you do that set you aside from other screen printers or do you just kind of roll with what orders come in? Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I think what sets us apart is that when you're coming to bun prints, you're going to be dealing with me directly. And I really put a lot of work into all the apparel I print where it's like, I'm not doing really any rush jobs. I'm not just throwing it together and putting it out there. I'm gonna check and make sure that everything looks good when you're getting your apparel made. I'm gonna send you um, sample mock-ups before we even go to print it. And then I'll also send an approval um, before I begin production of the picture of the shirt, just laying flat down. And then I have it on a mannequin as well. Um, Cause I really just like to make sure that everyone is really happy with the prints I do. And I think just kind of, you know, investing in my community and locally is kind of where my niche I could say is. But as far as like a specific type of business, I don't really cater exactly. I mean, I love working with skateboarders and local mm -hmm. businesses, but um, I think anyone locally, it's cool for me. I mean, we also do shipping, you know, nationwide, but I think when you have someone come in and you really see their face that they're just stoked on the apparel, like that's my favorite part about it all. Thank you, Jordan, for showing us around your shop. It's been an absolute pleasure to see what you have going on here. We also encourage you, our viewers, to ask any questions for Jordan, myself, about his operation here or how he got started, etc. If you have anything you wanna know, leave us a comment, ask us a question. And as always, thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.